Hi all, my name is Jeff. I am a former dial-up user and lead of the Smart Deploy support team here to point out a couple cool new features in Smart Deploy regarding the answer file and boot media. If you've used Smart Deploy before, you'll know that we give you the option of a fully unattended deployment or the ability to step through the entire deploy wizard. And if you've wanted something in between, it meant editing some XML, which isn't great. Many customers have asked for an easy way to have the deploy wizard stop and ask for something like the computer name or an image while everything else is automatically handled. You can now create an attended answer file checking a box for any pages that you don't want to see during deployment. The most common page our customers want to be able to dynamically touch is the computer name page. Smart Deploy does offer three ways to automatically name the system, be it the name used in the previous installation of Windows, or the asset tag that's set in BIOS, or a set prefix and random string. Now I can leave this skip box unchecked on this page and then complete the answer file wizard. And during deployment, I'll only be asked to choose a name for my deployed system. Another new feature we've added is securing the Smart Deploy boot environment. It's great to have a zero touch deployment do all the work for you, but maybe you want to prevent an accidental deployment or stop users from re-imaging their devices just for fun or as a fun prank. And I'm not laughing at that idea because I would never do that, especially not to the new IT guy. Now, when I create media on the answer file page, I have the option to set a password. But really, this is useful to stop any bad actors from playing a prank and re-imaging someone's workstation for fun or protecting your license usage. As I boot into Smart Deploy, I see that I'm asked for a password. I'm the one running this show, so I know it and I'll enter it here. Smart Deploy will initialize and continue my deployment, but I configured my answer file to ask me for the computer name and automate everything else. So I'll enter the computer name I want this workstation to have and then let Smart Deploy continue and take care of the rest. So there you have it, two new features we've added thanks to helpful feedback from customers like you. We'd always appreciate more feedback and cool ideas, so leave them in the comments or email us at feedback at smartdeploy.com. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, subscribe and stuff. Thank you. Bye.